So today I was, uh, you know, filming up here, but I, you know, I got a, another setup I, uh, that I'm trying out, and it's the GoPro. Uh, I, I, I used it in the past, but I kind of abandoned it because uh, the batteries got them. The batteries were getting on my nerves a little that they didn't last that long, and I. I blew a few of them up by uh, charging them too much. But now I put a Volta uh, battery pack on it. So now I get four hours. So I'm back to the GoPro and it, it helps. It keeps me mobile and uh, I can show you the locations and just bring out the GoPro. I've been using the 800 PF um, a lot. I brought, I brought that lens and I used it full time in Florida for two straight weeks. And I've been using now uh, shooting Ospreys. And I just wanna say, I love the lens. Um, I got a few questions about the lenses, about the 800 PF, and I think the sharpness is tremendous, and the autofocus. Those are the two main things, and they, it works great. So I highly recommend the 800 PF, especially for video. So I went down to Florida, had a great time, and I got some things that I didn't expect, and. I'm really excited to uh, bring that in the next few videos. Also, I got to meet one of my mentor idols from YouTube and got to speak with him for about 30 minutes and a super nice guy. And I have a little clip of that. So uh, I, I look forward to uh, my upcoming videos. I have them all right now, uh, I don't wanna say backed up, but ready to go, but it, I need to put them together. So the summer should be great. Hello, peanut peeps, how you doing? It's Peanut Chew. This video is about a red-tailed hawk that I got footage about two months ago, but now I'm back to finish up the YouTube video. And I wanna bring you on location to where I got this footage. So the first spot is by the parking lot. And this red-tailed hawk didn't mind being around people. So that was great. And I was up, actually up here for uh, Shorty and Owls, but when this red-tailed hawk presented action to me, I took it and I had a great time. The hawk, uh, where she flew towards me, so I needed some room in there. So what I did is, you know, if she perched on the Martin house or the bathroom or the sign, I stayed a little further back. So if she flew towards me, I could, ca I could capture that. Um, I just felt like if I was too close, it may be good, but for a few uh, seconds, but then she may go out of the frame. So I stood way back here up on the hill. There's a little hill right here. And it put me eye level with, on t uh, with the bathroom and when she was on top of the Martin house or the signs. So I, I, I like that eye level and it, it gives it more of a, an intimate feel. I first saw this red-tailed hawk in the refuge about two years ago when she was a juvenile. I was told that this red-tailed hawk is a female, and because of her beautiful wing flaps, I have nicknamed her Flappy. Over the last month, Flappy has been in the refuge near the parking lot, and she loves the attention of people. Here, she flies on top of the Purple Martin house and checks out what's going on. Now, with onlookers in the background, she flies on top of the bathroom chimney. I would probably want to avoid that spot. Over the last two years, her flying abilities have drastically improved. Here, she flies around the parking lot and lands on a sign. What a smooth landing. Many times, this girl flies by so silently, you don't even know she's there.
and she's very curious to see what people are doing. And if you want, she'll give you some super close action shots. And the shots that I love to get is when Flappy's carrying her dinner in her mouth. I call these the money shots. Sometimes the meal is carried in the mouth and many times in the talons. But carrying the mouth makes the bowl so visible and is so appealing to me for video. When I get something, I'll replay the video back in my viewfinder and say, I got it. But sometimes when I get back to my larger monitor and look, then I say, what happened? This is junk. But that only drives me to come back for more. To replay your video in your viewfinder on your Z9, put your eye to the viewfinder. Press the play button or the right pointing arrow on the back of your camera. Press the OK button. If you want half speed, while the video is playing back, press the down arrow two times on the multi-selector. Flappy will also enforce the speed limits, so you better watch out. And when you leave, she will bid you adieu. And at the end of a hard day, Flappy will rest on the bench. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace and true adventures.